In this screencast, you will learn how to install and configure the Mars version of Eclipse and the Scene Builder GUI tool for our course, Software Development Project, Java 3. First, you must have Java already installed on your system. Watch the screencast on installing Java for directions. Eclipse is supplied as a zip file for Windows. There is no installer. You simply unzip the file to the folder of your choice. This year I have adopted a new folder layout for development tools on the Windows platform. The layout begins with a folder called Dev. All the development tools that we will use will all go into the Dev folder. Therefore, the first step is to create a dev folder on whichever drive of your system you choose. Here, I will create the dev folder on my C drive. Now we are ready to download Eclipse. Navigate your browser to Eclipse.org and click on Download. The version we want to download is Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. This version contains the primary components for both desktop and server-side programming that we will use this term and next. Select the 64-bit version and a website that has the file, called a mirror site, will be recommended. You may not see the same site as in the screencast, but you can assume that the best choice has been made for you. Click on Download, and within a few minutes the file should be downloaded into your download folder of your system. Once it has been downloaded, Use File Explorer to see the files in the directory. How you do this depends on the web browser you use. I'm using Chrome, so all I need do is select Show in Folder from the drop-down menu adjacent to the file name in Chrome's status bar. Select the file and unzip it. You should probably be using 7-Zip rather than the Windows native Zip capability. 7-Zip is faster than Windows. It also allows you to select the folder into which you wish to unzip the file. In our case, the destination folder is C-Dev. The next step is to create a shortcut file to access Eclipse. Using File Explorer, view the C Dev Eclipse folder. In it, you will see a file named Eclipse.exe. Right mouse click on it and select Create Shortcut. I recommend renaming this file to read Eclipse Mars. This file can now be copied to the desktop or placed on your Start menu. Run Eclipse using the shortcut. The first question you will be asked is where do you want your workspace? The suggested location, as you can see, is in your User folder. I recommend that you create the workspace in your C Dev folder. At school, you should create the workspace either on your H drive or, better still, get a USB 3.0 memory key and put your workspace there. USB 2.0 will work, but the new lab computers support USB 3.0 and it will be faster for compiling. You can probably get a 32 gig USB 3.0 drive for under $40. With the workspace selected, Eclipse will begin. Before we can use it, we need to install a plugin so that Eclipse supports JavaFX applications and the JavaFX GUI building tool 
called Scene Builder. The Java FX plugin is called EFX Clips. To install it, you need to add the URL that contains the plugin to Eclipse. Open the Help menu and select Install New Software. Select Add. Give this new software the name EFX Clips and enter the URL as shown in the notes that accompany this screencast. A list of two choices will appear. Select only EFX Clips dash install. Then click on Next or Finish and the plugin will be downloaded and installed. In the last step, you will be told that Eclipse must be restarted. Do this and Eclipse is now almost ready. We will be using the Scene Builder GUI Designer tool. This was originally created by developers at Oracle, but they no longer support it. Another company has stepped in to take over the project and maintain it. They are called Gluon. Their main product is a library that supports Java development on both Android and Apple iOS devices. As their contribution to the community, they look after Scene Builder. To download it, go to the site as shown below and download the X64 version of Scene Builder 8.0. Run the installer after it finishes downloading. Scene Builder should run to prove that it has been installed properly. Close it after it starts up. It is not really being installed. It is just being unzipped into a folder. The Scene Builder installer does not ask you where you want it installed and instead places itself in your C Users Can App Data Local folder under the folder name Scene Builder. Replace Ken with your login name. Move this folder to C Dev. Go back to Eclipse, or if you close the clips, then start it. In the Windows menu, select Preferences. In the list, select Java FX. Here you will enter the path to the Scene Builder EXE. Use the Browse button and select this file. Click on OK, and now Eclipse is ready to run. Remember that this information is kept in the workspace. If you create a new workspace, you will have to tell that workspace where the file is again. The plugin does not need to be reinstalled. You are now ready to program desktop applications using the Java FX framework in Eclipse.